everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't had a chance to do so by now, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And to go a step further, tap the notification bell. That way you'll be updated each and every time I'm uploading something new. Yes, God, honey, hopefully you guys had a wonderful weekend. Enjoyed your holiday festivities, girl. While you guys were feasting on turkey, I was feasting on dick. <laughs> bitch. Mm. Huh. Honey, to the gristle, bitch. Okay, like, huh. Girl, huh, I swear vampires have nothing on me, girl. Huh, they've come to suck your blood. Huh, bitch, YB has come to suck your dick. <laughs> yes, God, honey. Ooh, honey, just count fuck you love. <laughs> okay, girl, please. Uh, anyway, honey, I might have to do a story time on that because I had a very, let me just say this, like my back hurts, girl. Like this type of pain i feel like i i can I, I choose to weather these kind of storms okay because girl like uh just note the stuff i i believe in stretching before girl we'll do a whole story time girl because it's fucking hilarious it's fucking hilarious but we're not here for me child we are here to talk about chasing dallas um episode 10 girl sorry that i'm late i just needed a week i needed a week who girl <sighs> and now i'm back in full effect amen child so let's get into this honey so this episode starts off with robert and his hennessy squeeze bitch um his version of the lemon squeeze that reese hosted girl and when i mean there was hennessy squeezed in bitch's eyes um i appreciate it robert but i feel like this season we have regurgitated a lot of themes with these so-called events um, I'm going to need some originality and not every event needs to cater to trying to build the bridges of unity between a bunch of bitches who really, they're not ready right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, so Tony Roberts, hood brother in Christ, assisted in creating a game where each person would pick a name from the red solo cup girl. Hell of God. There was hood shit. There was Henny everywhere, girl. There was, y'all should... Let me tell y'all something. Branding wise, like y'all need to reach out to Hennessy Girl and see if y'all can get some kind of endorsement deal or some sponsorships, girl, because Dior, Robert, everybody, the girls love the brown girl. Okay. Yes, God. So um, they had to basically point out a positive quality about the person that they picked. And they also had to name something that that person needs to work on. I don't remember everybody's, um, but I do remember. Trey Howard, uh, when he picked Dior's name, he said something that was interesting that also made me go ding, ding, ding. I remember in an interview that um, the Justice League that we had with him a while back, he did mention that there was some issues. Um, I believe it was during the retreat as well. There were some issues between him and Dior. And Trey Howard basically kind of spoke on it and was like, hey girl, like I love your hustle. I love that you're driven and everything and you love your family, but the thing I think you need to work on is realizing that you have other friends other than your so-called best friend. And the reason why this stuck out to me, because I have a problem with that too. I'm not even going to lie. I can have a bunch of friends, but there may be only one or two out of that friend group that I just probably get along with more. I probably I have more in common with maybe like, I need people to understand that each friend in a friend group serves a, a type of purpose and it's not in a negative way. There's always going to be someone in the group that you share more with than you do everyone else. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing, but I do like the way that Trey Howard just basically just effectively communicated his feelings. I did feel a little reserved and say, mm, maybe that's something I should have had in private because putting Dior on front street in front of these people that may or may not be aware of y'all's issue. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm glad that you got that off your chest and Dior seemed extremely receptive towards that. Um, maybe when I get a chance to talk to you guys, uh, we'll be able to see if that was actually mended. Amen. All right. So after all of that, Robert decides that he wants to have sort of a Ponderosa between Reese and Markel. That did not go good. 
Um, the overall situation, I don't think people were here for. You know, Robert, you invited, invited the girls out to have barbecue girl. We are here for the meats. <laughs> Bitch, we're here for the meats. And I'm not talking about Arby's girl. We are here for the meats. Robert, you and your friend Tony, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> yes, I know you taking, honey. Corey has you, and that's fine and all. Okay? Whatever, honey. But Tony, you know, hey, I would have came to the child. The rest of the girls can leave. Y'all can just close this door. Let's finish the rest of these this Hennessy girl. And let's, you know, throw these sausages on the grill. <laughs> yes, girl. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the kids just were not here for the game. Um, again, I kind of feel like let's not every scene again has to be dedicated to, you know, airing out some shit. Um, so yeah, Reese and Markel child, that was an explosion. Moving on from that, because we got nowhere. Um, we fly immediately to Vegas. You know what I had to say about this season and how I can tell it was rushed? We need a build up before we do a transition scene. Um, girl. But we get to Vegas, right? So at this point, Reese, Trey, Dior, they do a group interview with a YouTuber named AJ. Shout out to you, honey. Um, and shout out to Chase and Reality for always, you know, giving the girls their things. I, well, we work really hard over here, amen? So it is cute to get some type of recognition. Um, basically, that whole interview was cute, but at the end, Reese decided to shade lovers and friends and Markel. Dior and Trey Howard also saw that, and, you know, it's obvious at this point. Um, I want to say this. It seems like the group as a collective is just tired of this whole Markel and Reese, the show, and even beyond that, just like the whole energy that comes with y'all's two's beef. Um, more specifically from Reese. Um, but... The people that are all aware of what's happening, the people that y'all decided to go back and talk and share these things with, although you guys seem like you're over it, you do chime in and you do kiki and ha ha. So in a way, I would call that carrying. You know what I mean? So yes, you may be over it, but you're also not making it better. Um, I'm gonna say it again and I was right. Give me my fucking flowers, bitch. Hello, God. Um, shit, every one of y'all bitches watching this video, cash at me a dollar. Hello, God. YBENT TV. Okay. Hello. Because what did I say? This whole season was going to be about this bullshit. And that's exactly what we got. We have two episodes left, and I'm quite sure this and the reunion is going to be about this same old argument. All right, honey. So, <sighs> Reese meets up with Carrie and begins his ma manipulation. Um, basically stirring up strife amongst him and Markel, like, girl, you know, um, Markel said that you was an associate, you know, you wasn't his friend. And now be you're doing the manipulation tactic by trying to turn people against him. And it's just like, girl, <laughs> Reese, don't we have better things to do with our time? You know what I mean? And Carrie feeding into it a little bit. Um, I did find it funny that Reese got kind of mad in the confession was like, well, why do I feel like Carrie's getting mad at me for spilling the tea? Um, because Carrie's not an idiot. Carrie probably is thinking along the lines of what I'm thinking. You're manipulating the situation because you and Markel ain't friends. You want people to turn away from him and come to your side. Like, and how the hell you, and you told on yourself by admitting um, that you were you spotted that about Carrie. You should have just kept that to yourself. Y'all girls be telling on y'all selves, child. Y'all really do. Um, I did want to talk about friends because I know, uh, I'm looking at my notes, I'm sorry. So yeah, let's talk about friends. What about your friends? Will they be around? Yes, honey. Will they hold you down or will they turn their backs on you? I know I fucked that song up, but whatever, girl. Shout out to TLC, bitch. Rest in peace, Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Mm, 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 mm. Um, Carrie, I don't think you and Markel can or should be classified as friends. I have not once. I'm, I follow both of you on social media. I don't see you guys take pictures together. Um, Markel and George, I would classify that as an actual friendship. 
Um, it's okay sometimes to be considered an associate, but I, but you have to look at, there's levels to this shit, bitch. Okay. There's levels to friendship. There's levels to a lot of shit, girl. And I feel like if you, you do certain things with friends and you do certain things with associates, you feel what I'm saying? Um, I wouldn't just up from the optics of it as a viewer, I wouldn't consider you and Markel to be friends. I would consider y'all to be associates that are getting to know each other that are, that could be working towards a friendship. Um, but then again, it's also based on how you felt treated. I'm not there. We're all not there. We're only seeing small glimpses on the show. So behind the scenes, maybe there was more to y'all's relationship and hearing this news made you feel some type of way, obviously. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. But from the optics of it, I, I wouldn't categorize y'all as friends yet. You know what I mean? So I think we need to start. Words mean something. And I think this generation, um, they're getting away from the meaning of words. Like how Reese's always like, oh, that doesn't matter. You're it, it's okay, girl. I paid it. I paid it. Or 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 your opinions don't matter. Or this stuff. No. People's feelings, they're the words that come out of their mouth, they mean something. And we got to start getting back to that understanding. That way we can really build connections with people that are that are good and long lasting and meaningful. We have to validate people's feelings the same way y'all want people to validate y'all. like, we're asking for all these things that we're not willing to do ourselves. And we wonder why we're always stuck in the rut of life. Girl, please. All right, so we got over that, honey. Moving on. I don't know what is going on in my notes today. Who, girl? <clears throat> so, Sean, Markel, Dior, and Trey end up meeting up at the Stratosphere before everybody else gets there. This is also a cross episode, a crossover episode, y'all. Cast members, I think I saw Cameron from um, Atlanta. We saw some cast members like uh, Jayla and King Payne from uh, Chasing LA. It was good to see every one child. Obviously, um, they weren't featuring Reese girl. And Reese got her feelings. It was like, girl, they want to go trample around and be around Markel and the rest of the girls. No, I'm feeling energies. The girls are whispering. And I'm just like, okay, girl, well. <laughs> and everybody else was like, all right, bye. And she left, girl. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Girl, ah, moving on, child. So we uh, get to the end of the scene, girl. Um, Trey, Carrie, uh, Dior was there. Dior left in the middle of it. He was like, girl, I'm tired of this shit. I'm gonna go get me another drink and y'all can bitches can fight about this shit all y'all want to. Um, Carrie was there and uh, Lyndon James was there. Shout out to Lyndon, hello God. And before Markel arrives, everybody's just talking their, their thing, giving, you know, the same old shit, same shit, different day, girl, literally, hello. And Markel shows up and Markel lets the girls know that I had a chance to watch the interview. And when I mean he cleared the table, bitch, he cleared Reese, he cleared it, he sprayed, he unloaded, girl, like, he busted a fat ass nut, bitch, on Reese G, girl. And neither Reese G or his titties can ha could hang. And, and <laughs> shout out to Reese G and his titties, because in that uh, outfit he had on the confessional with the uh, thing, I was just like, girl, I just wanted to move that tit over just a little bit, girl. Just do, you know, one of those. <laughs> girl, have fun, girl. Live your life, child. Um, but he cleared it, girl. And then... Trey Howard child, I guess the margaritas finally um, <laughs> touched and agreed with his spirit girl. He just lashed out. You did. <laughs> he was, and they're not wrong. At, there has to come a point, Reese, and I'm done actually. There has to come a point, Reese, where you need to take accountability for the shit that you do, the shit that you say, the shit that you get yourself involved in, the shit that you create. This whole season has been dedicated to you. All roads lead back to lead back to you. And I find myself yet again regurgitating things from previous reviews. We need to do better. I know this is the end of Dallas, but this is just a a, a leave off for like 
everything, girl. Like all of you bitches out here in web series, like stop regurgitating. Do not have these long drawn out beefs. You have cast members that you need to be thinking about. You have real things that you could be really like putting on the screen for the girls that, are, that will touch and agree with the community, girl. Like I'm very disappointed in this season. And it's just like, girl, mm -mm 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 -mm. And I know there's always a bitch out there, then why review it? Why watch it at all? Bitch, because I can. And because, girl, everyone that fucks with me and that really knows how I feel, that's why I lend the hand of support. I'm not here to break the girls down. I'm here to uplift the girls. Amen? Jesus. And at this point, we see why Markel is upset with your motherfucking ass is based on the fact that you guys sat there and had a whole conversation where you both agreed that, girl, it is what it is. Let bygones be bygones. We're not going to be holding hands, running through the fields of life, girl. We are going to accept that this friendship is is dead. Um, but we can be cordial and we can, you know, I don't even say business partners, but bitch, y'all bitch high and by pretty much without there being no back talk. And in every scene after, you have done exactly what Markel stated in this argument was like, girl, you set the rules and you broke the, your own rules. That's what makes it even worse. Because the crazy thing is, is right after that last episode where you guys met up in that, you know, one was in the light section, one was in the dark section, child. There was no sunshine when she's gone. Only darkness everywhere. Mm. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. <laughs> Girl, yes, honey. The very next scene, you end up doing the buffoonery, the fuckery, the fakery, the fraudulence of it all. Keep regurgitating all of this stuff. Like, girl, in every person that I have spoke to so far, again, shout out to George, Ariel, Carrie D, and Lyndon, who have came on the platform and interviewed with me. It's just, it's draining. These girls are tired of the same old, same old. Hopefully with the next the ReCG production, you implement some new things. You really take a hard look at what everyone is saying. Like... You have to, girl, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and share, y'all. Continue to support the platform, girl. You know what I'm saying? Oh, girl, be blessed and never stressed. Remember that health is wealth, girl. And yeah, drop down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about this episode. Again, sorry for being late, but child. All right, y'all. <laughs> well, I'm still thinking about that dick. Anyway, child, bye. <laughs>